Hi, it's Deborah from Suburban Mama. We just got back from a truly lovely lunch at Sear House with a few members of our team and I wanted to tell you all about it. We had heard great things about this new restaurant and we we're really excited to go and try it out. When you pull up into their driver from Piermont Road, you're really struck by just how chic this restaurant is. The owners, Kenny and Gino, have completely renovated the space and just transformed it into something ultra modern and ultra chic. You walk into this open airy entryway where you're very warmly greeted at the reception desk and right in front of you is this really breathtaking bar. It's made from imported onyx and it's lit from underneath so it's just got that really warm and alluring feeling and we just all had to resist the urge to just pull up a stool and spend the rest of our afternoon right there. And I have to say Bergen is definitely blessed with some really great restaurants but this one is perhaps one of the most city-like that I've really been to. It's true, truly hip and urban and an upscale experience. It had just a great ambiance and mood in there. Uh, Kenny and Gino, who you may also know from uh, Demore in Norwood, really just in, invested in making sure they were creating just a high-end dining experience on this side of the George Washington Bridge. And just by looking around, you just see incredible details. The, the walls have beautiful woodwork. There's an accent wall that's covered with these cowhide towels that just add a beautiful texture and warmth and just really interesting aesthetic. Um, there's a waterfall separating the bar from the dining room, which is just so beautiful and serene. And I'm sure on nights where it's hopping, it serves as a buffer between the noise from the bar uh, to give you some more quiet in the dining room. Uh, to the right of the bar, there's a really nice little lounge with lower seating, uh, all centered around a really modern fireplace. It's just a perfect place to grab a cocktail at the end of the day. Uh, we were really impressed that no detail was left out and just every inch of that space is stunning. Even the powder rooms, which you should definitely be sure to visit, even if it's just to peek your head in to see how pretty it is. So on to lunch. We sat um, in a very well lit for a lunch. We were there for lunch and the atmosphere was really great for lunch too. It was very bright. The wait staff was friendly and attentive and we really, really enjoyed the food. Uh, there's a separate lunch menu, which is lighter um, than their dinner menu, which is more extensive and a little bit more traditional steakhouse fare. Um, we had the tuna tartare, which was not only beautifully presented, but very well seasoned and incredibly fresh tasting and delicious. Uh, the crab cake was a work of art and just as delicious as it looked. The filet mignon sandwich with palm frites was perfectly cooked uh, and definitely made for a very satisfying meal. Uh, the sliced seared tuna was encrusted in something wonderful. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but it was delicious. Uh, perhaps some panko crumbs. Uh, it was served with a really perfectly dressed salad. Uh, we also had um, salmon that was brilliantly seared, nice and crunchy on the outside and just buttery and succulent on the inside. Uh, and for dessert, we had uh, the tartufo and an order of mixed berries, both generously endowed with fresh heavenly whipped cream. The whole experience was just a huge treat. Our team had a great time and have to say we just cannot wait to go back and try it again for dinner.